Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. What a busy day today. Today is Friday for those who just joined us later in the week and oh my god I'm trying to finish everything before I leave up north to my in-laws house. So right now the time is 11 30 p.m. and we have to get up tomorrow at 5 o'clock a.m. to drive because it's a long drive road trip so I'm trying to finish everything and not leave you guys hanging with no video for this weekend because it's Thanksgiving weekend and by the way my Canadian pinkies happy Thanksgiving to you all and to my American pinkies happy Columbus Day as you can see here in front of you this week's kit I'll be using is from Two Little Bees. It's her bee inspired kit. I think this came out in June. No, in the springtime because I bought this during the PBC spring sale and I've been hoarding it since then. And I finally decided to try this out. It is an Erin Condren glossy kit, but this kit comes with so many sheets of paper. Like, look at that. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven sheet of paper. And then there was also an exclusive freebie too with the when you purchase a kit from her during the Planner Boss Collective sale. And those of you who are new to the planning world, honestly, you could use any kit. It doesn't have to really be, you know, EC kit for EC or Happy Planner kit for Happy Planner. You can mix and match. Like, for example, I'm using an EC kit for my Happy Planner. And it's so doable to modify it. All you need is just extra washi tape to fill in the spots. So I've decided to use the bottom washi as the date covers, headers up there to cover um, the dates there because her kit comes with also date covers and the date covers stickers is a little bit too small and it won't really cover the whole dates up there so I figured to use the bottom washi and cut it into size and just use it as a cover up. I'm going to place the date cover-up stickers. I think that looks great. So next I'm going to do my bottom washi, but because there are all these little black dots that was printed on to the Planner. I'm just going to cover that up with my label stickers because I know my washi tape is see-through and those little dots will show up at the background. I decided to pull out this matte gold sticker, sticker, washi <laughs> tape because it matches her gold in her sticker kits and it's not really like a foil gold, it's more like an antique gold. So that's why I pulled that one out and obviously I love to layer my washies. The matte gold heart washi is from Michaels and then the other two washi is from my collection, from my Etsy shop. After finishing the bottom washi, I felt that the top needs a little bit more washi just to um, tie in the bottom a bit. So I decided to use my garland bow washi here and trim it with my skinny dot washi tape. These also are in our shop too. I am so obsessed with skinny washi tape. It's not even funny. Like, I honestly think that any skinny washi will really make your spread pop. And before I start on my week, I do need to put down the date so that I do not plan the wrong day. So, and these are um, my mystery kit date covers. Before it were, they were dots. I did reformat them and just made it into Kiss Cut's number. And it looks so much better. And it fit perfectly in her little dots too. Now this is my first time using Two Little Bees kit and I don't know if it's just me or if you guys do this too but when I use somebody else's kit it takes me a while 
to do my spread because I would need to know what's in this kit, what I could use, and I have to go through it before I could start really planning. So right now, as you can see, I'm just figuring out what she has with this kit and what I could use. And I think I'm going to use these heart check boxes here randomly. And here I just realized that it's not straight, so I had to repeal all the sticker up and make it straight again and reposition my washi tape. I believe her stickers are permanent because when I did peel them up, it did kind of uh, peel my paper up a bit, but not too much, so it's definitely not removable. But if you catch it in time, it's doable to get your whole sticker out and not ruin your paper. Okay, next we're going to put our headers down. I'm going to put the to-do headers. As I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, that this is an EC kit, so we need washi tape to just build it up. So here I am before I put down my full boxes in the middle section, I'm just going to build it up with a few washi tape. So I don't know why my camera just stopped recording, but it just stopped recording when I was placing down the half boxes, not half boxes, full boxes as you can see. So the kit do come with nine full boxes. I only plan up to Friday because I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the weekend. I do have four leftover full boxes which I will use later on. So here I am just going to add another washi tape as a trim just to blend in the washi and the full boxes together. The scallop washi tape and the vintage floral washi tape is also available in our shop. I usually like to use the bottom corner, the Sunday box right there. I usually use that for my next week, just to remind me of what I do next week or what I didn't do this week. I just jot it down into that box for so that I know next week I need to do that. And I'm just gonna place the weekend banner or weekend header there. I think that's super adorable that it's kiss cuss like that. Now on to my weekend section. I pulled out a few, uh, I was about to say washi, scrapbook paper just to see what will match. And I think I decided to use the white background with this spiral print on it because I felt that it's a little bit lighter, whereas the pink is a little bit too dark for it, so I'm just trimming oh, it out. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is going to be a no white space spread? I, f I decided to do that because her kit is a lot of stickers and that is so doable for a no white, no white space spread. I am so loving the, how this kit is coming out and oh, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not hoarding it because it does need a place, it does need a home and for me to hoard it in my little sticker box is not fair for this kit. Like, oh, I just love it. My favorite color as you can tell is pink and gold so that's why I love this kit and it's very well done. Next, I'm going to work on my today section. I usually don't do today headers because I know that that's, you know, what's going on that day because of the date on above. But because she does have those stickers, I'm just going to utilize that because when will I ever use it, right? And then I'm going to put down my meal plan stickers so that I do know what to cook this week and shop for it. So because her half boxes are rounded corners and not really used to rounded corners. I do like my square boxes more than round boxes. So for this to be a no white space spread, I do have to add in washies underneath the rounded corners, but it's okay. So Monday, I'm just gonna do some grocery shopping and it's my bookkeeping day and same with Tuesday and also my boxing day too. Boxing day, <laughs> I have a boxing kickboxing class. 
And Wednesday, I decided to do a pre-release sale for my new washi collection for only those who are on our mailing list because it's Washi Wednesday and what's a better day to do a pre-release sale than Washi Wednesday, right? So if you guys are not on my emailing list, you guys missed out, I'm sorry. So next time, please, if you have time, even after this video, go ahead and join our mailing list. I promise I do not bombard your mailbox. You might get one newsletter from me every, maybe once a week or possibly once every two weeks. Okay, so Thursday is my planning day, planning day meaning designing day, and Friday we have appointment at the car dealership because our car lease is up in a few weeks, so we have to decide what to do. And Saturday I will be literally driving in the morning as I said earlier to my in-laws for the Thanksgiving weekend. Her kit also includes some decorative stickers, so that's what I'm doing right now, just putting some decorative sticker around. I'm loving this kit. Oh my goodness. Super adorable. And because the weekend is just going to be family weekend and we're just going to chill, do nothing, I decided to put a huge quote there. And I flipped through a few of the Mambi sticker quote books and I find that this is the best quote fitting for this weekend. It says, start each day with a grateful heart. Right, and I'm grateful and thankful to spend my weekend with the ones that I love and sharing every day of it. Before I write down everything, I'm just gonna add a few more functional stickers down. Um, these functional stickers are actually from my own kit, from my own stash. I find that she didn't have a lot of functional sticker that I do need that, or that I'm used to plan with. And that's it. Oh, I love this. I am so happy that I decided to take it out and use it for this week. It could have been for my birthday week too, but I have another kit for that week, which is next week. Yay! Thank you, my pinkies, for watching. I do hope you guys do like this video because I had so much fun using her kit. I am not sure if this kit is available in her shop. I think her shop is closed because she is expecting a little one, I think, this week. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she's on mat leave and that she just finished the PBB, PBB, PBC sale recently and I think she did close her shop. So when it does reopen, if you do like this kit, just keep an eye out on it because I think this kit is amazing and it's cute and it's just so me happy thanksgiving my canadian pinkies and happy columbus day again to my american pinkies and i will see you in my next video happy planning bye